Welcome back to the Learning Chinese Backlog. We are, I wonder, Drew, are you getting a feeling for how to do these introductions and stuff? Uh, welcome to the Nerdy Chinese Backlog. Yeah. <laughs> we're here playing Argham City. Um, right now, I guess we're about, to, we're about to fight this room full of goons, which is actually a fight that I really, really love in this game. It is. Until those giant uh, Joker-like Titan thugs show up, then it makes it more difficult. No, even the, I, I even like the Titans. Like, like they... I, it's it's fun to have like one or two on the field because it, it mixes things up. It's just that they have so much health that you get to the end and you can't really build up your combo meter because mm -hmm. you can't like counter them. You have to. Don't you have to like super stun them or something? Ah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. There's like a couple ways to beat them. You can also do like the original Arkham Asylum thing and like um, fucking. Uh, oh, can you throw the bat battering at them? I think it stuns them as well. Yeah, yeah. Throw throw it to them while they're charging and. Wait, hold on. I'm lost. <laughs> Um, I think you're supposed to go in, in this way? to the right, maybe? Go to the right. Is there another way to get in? Yeah, go in there. Ah, okay. That should take you to the desk. Oh, no, you can't go there. Whoa. So I think you have to That's right. No, there's like a switch here somewhere that turns off the steam. And then... I think go back to the right and then turn No, here, here's the... We need to get behind there. Yes, we got something. Cool. It's all coming back here now. <laughs> After, like... Nobody finds it suspicious that that turned off. Like, wow, that steam is a lot quieter. Alright, so can we do two? Wait, hold on, let's see what they're saying. Like, we're talking about the final boss of the previous game, right? Did he not do that? No, he just looks at them. He's like, when they do spotlights on him, that's when you're supposed to like, pull them down. Yeah. Titan bugs, easily distracted by bright lights and shiny true. objects. It's their one weakness. Foreshadowing. That's it? That's all you got to say? Anything else? That's probably it. Okay. I, I kind of love that. Like That's a really, like... I do like the addition of the critical strike because it makes it much less of just a button mashy game and more of like a. I mean, you're still button mashy, but you're button mashy to a rhythm. True. But I think the. Um, I think critical strikes are in the first game. Oh, shit. I think critical strikes are in the first game, too. They might right? be. Like, they're, they're one of the upgrades. Mm -hmm. They probably are. I think you also get them with the thing that gives you. A, that lets you do the combo at um, 5 instead of 8, but I'm not sure. But the cr critical strikes are. They just make the fighting better. Yeah. And a game that could easily just be a it feels the better. X button. Yeah. It also helps you keep the combo meter up because that timing is like if mm -hmm. it'll help you not mash the wrong button and drop yes. your combo. So I met this girl at a couple college parties, um, who like had like a Harley tattoo, like a shoulder Harley tattoo, and she was like, yeah. Like, my brother's got one of, uh, my brother who I'm really close with has one, too, of, of Joker. I was like, oh my That's god. That's a really weird relationship. It's, it's, a, no, it's, a, it's a little creepy, but I th the basic idea is, like, is, like, sweet, and also she was, like, really cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, you're like, oh, that's, that's so nice. Yeah. That's not at all a weird relationship. That's not at all a weird relationship. No, but the, they were both pretty cool. Like, I, I met her brother, too, and he, he was a pretty cool dude. They, 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 like, got the matching tattoos, I think, because, um, I mean, just for, like, like family, familial, like they they were just really close. And they both like Batman, so. Yeah. Uh, how do we blow this up again? Blow that up? Yeah. I don't know, I guess. Um, no, you know what? Maybe, I, I remember now. We, we used the electric gun to kill that. Oh, okay. If we, if we spend too much time here now, people are going to be like, yeah. God, these are fucking idiots. sneak in if you hit the, the switch That's, on. Yeah. Instead of going in and going in guns blazing. Uh, then you can turn this into a predator counter as opposed to just getting your bait. Actually, I don't even know if you can get into that door yet. I think they have a chain shot. They have guns, right? You can't, yeah, they're you all, can't they walk through the, through the front door. I think they have, you can, but you probably get shot a lot. But I think they might have changed it. We don't shot. have the bullet armor yet. Oh what? How do we how do we get in there? Do we have to knock all 
we have to kill them? I think we have to knock all them out and someone comes running out. Smashing the glass will get my Aw. Alright, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> you can take this one out and then do a double take down. That's a close one. <laughs> I almost walked right in front of him. Uh, that dude's peripheral vision is terrible. I wish, okay, that's one thing I wish these games had better. I wish this game, these games had a little bit better of, like, detection mechanics. Like, made it a little easier to tell when they can see you and when they can't. They, they might be better, I think you have to uh, die. Okay. Yeah. I think they might be better at higher levels. They might be more aware, the lower levels are just like... Well, no, I mean, I, mean I, I, I don't care about how smart they are. I want a better method of conveyance to the player. That you're going to get detected. Of whether you're visible or not, yeah. As opposed to just, hey, there's Batman. Yeah. Okay. I think, um... The, the game that I think did that the best that I've played is actually, uh, have you played Mark of the Ninja? I have not. It's a 2D game. Oh, we should definitely play that for this, um, for this backlog, but it's, it's really good. And, um, it's, it's got this really interesting art style. It's, it's like cell shaded, like a cartoon. It looks kind of like Samurai Jack. Oh, nice. And, um, it, it does this really interesting thing where if you're visible, your, your character icon is colored in completely black if you're invisible if guards can't see you, and then your character icon will be in like its normal uh, concept art colors if um, you're, uh, if you're, if you are visible. So it, it, it makes it super obvious whether they can see you at any given moment. I always love the meters oh, that fill up. And there's one in there and there's two in there. So I think if you take this one out, so one get, more come out. Yeah, get that guy. And then that guy comes out, and then we can sneak in the vent, right? Um, it, that guy went inside there, right? So we can sneak yeah, in the vent now if we want to. Yeah, just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got it. They do see through windows, though. He didn't even give me... He didn't even... There is no warning. There is... Yeah. I definitely see what you mean about no warning now. But it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Best animation in the game. Uh, there's someone up there. Come on, man. He's your co-worker. Oh, they could have just been assigned to the same assignment and not really know each other. Wait, hold on. That guy, did he just trip? You hit him with a batarang and he oh. drops. Instead of cutting the line. Were you trying to cut the line? Yeah, I was trying to cut the line. <laughs> yeah, it, it hit the team instead. Uh, oh, shit. He was telling you he was going to give away his position as you threw it, so... He lost me. It's fine. I could wait for him to come up here and then pop that extinguisher. I don't know if that'll knock him out. I think it'll just knock him down. What? Oh. Ooh. Oh, no, it's smoke. Okay, that's fine, though. <laughs> we got him using the same thingy. And... Hey, one all more. of my friends have been taken out outside of this room. One more. <laughs> Okay, um, foreshadowing time. This inverted takedown is actually at the root of my next major complaint with, uh, my complaint about the freeze fight, actually. Which is great, but... The freeze fight I found extremely tedious. I think if, if they gave you, if they gave you the gargoyles, but didn't let you do anything to him from them, it would be better. Yeah. And I think, I think the freeze fight is also where that stealth stuff, where whether you can see or he can see you or not, would have been really helpful. Yeah, yeah, that's like the most, like, even if you just gave like a cone of vision, like if you're standing in the shot, like, I know how I'd do it. Um, you remember the, you remember the scarecrow sections in oh, Arkham like Asylum, the, yeah. where like he, his eyes are like a big beam of light, but you know you're safe if you're hiding behind a thing in the shadows. So yeah. give Freeze a beam of light. I mean, his helmet lights up, so it, it makes yeah. sense. It would have been really easy. All right. Um, does he do this? Does, I might be thinking of something else. Does he do a thing where like he scans cover or something? Does he like check for like uh, key signature? I think he, he can look for you. Yeah. I I think if you if you if you run away from him for too long, like if you if you go to all the way to the other side of the room and just stay there without doing anything to him, he'll track you um, and then shoot you directly. But like if you stay at like a mid range distance, he'll just keep stalking around, like waiting for you to. Alright, so the electric gun is how you blew that up, right? Yeah, how you blow up a Harley head. Nice. <laughs> Next time on the. Oh, uh, actually, shit. How do these get mass produced? Like, where do they go? Good question. Do you think, do you think like. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe it's like one of the goons' job. Like one of the goons has an Etsy store where, where he makes like life-sized ceramic sculptures of people, and Harley is just like, make something for me. I need you like, oh. Is that supposed to be doing that? Yeah, yeah, they're locked, sealing in here. I think you have to use your new toy to get out. Uh -huh. There's another door somewhere. Oh, yeah. I think. Please slow me down. I need to get back after Joker. Detective mode. Oh, man. I remember nothing. Uh, through this door. Am I supposed to go through here? Maybe. <laughs> I know you're supposed to use one of those garage doors. That one? No, 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 it's in the other room. It's on the other side, actually, I think. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, shoot the Harley first. Oh, of course. Let me shoot. There you go. Um. I should, I should head back to the loading bay. Yes, it's the oh, hey, room. that's what that does. I think it's in the ground floor in the loading bay. Uh, yeah, it's on the other side. Well, no, no yeah, no, right it's over there. there. That, yeah, that door right there in front of you. They did a great job of hiding it, but yeah. Maybe, maybe this game could have used a little more of that um, uncharted uh, Half-Life 2 style lighting design what the heck? for the levels. Me down. I need to get back after Joker. Is it? Oh, like, I have to, you have to do that. Do what? You have to scan it. Oh, before, before you, can you can use it? What the fuck? Oh. Maybe that's something else this game could improve on. Like, after you've played it through, or like maybe maybe allow for skipping the tutorials? Uh, yeah. That'd be nice. Okay, we're... Actually, you know what? That's worth talking about. Um, next time on the Nerdy Chinese Backlog, we're going to talk about tutorials.